Hello and welcome back to the Titan Academy. Today we will cover the document generation basic course. In this video and in this course, we are going to cover the basics of the document generation tool. We will not cover everything. There's a lot more to it. There will also be advanced courses and lots of documentation. But for this video, we will cover the most common use cases in a basic way so that you can understand how to do this on your own. The use case that we'll cover today will be the generation of a document from an opportunity. We'll do that using a button and also some automation options. So let's begin. What we see in the screen is a proposal showing a header containing a company logo, a barcode for the opportunity, the date of generation, all of the products on this opportunity in a table, the totals, and some other information. All of this is done within Titan's Word plugin to build a Titan template. This is pulling information from the opportunity object with related information from accounts and contacts. You can do this with any object standard or custom in Salesforce. So let's look at our opportunity. Our opportunity right now is in a good state. We have an account name. We have me listed as the contact. The contact is the person who will be emailed this document when it's generated. In the notes and attachments section, we have the document that I just showed. I'll go ahead and delete this one. In the notes and attachments section, we have the document that we just showed. I'll go ahead and delete this one so that we can generate it again from scratch, and you'll see how that works. Up here, we have the FT Generate Document button. If we click on this, you will be shown a list of all templates that are available for use with this object for this user under these conditions. We have rules set on this document generation overview template to make it only available on an opportunity when the opportunity is in the prospecting stage. So you'll see here, this is now available for use, but if we were in some other stage, let's say qualification, if I click the FT generate document button again, I will see a different list of templates. This is another template that is set available for use in other stages, and the one we saw initially is no longer there. Let's go back and do that again. So if we want to generate this document, we have a number of options. We have a generate button, which will run the process as we've configured it all the way through. We have an option to send an email and some additional options to download in Word format, etc. There are other menu options as well that we will cover in advanced courses. Let's go ahead and generate this document. So what happens when I click this button is that behind the scenes, Titan will generate and send the document. We can also configure Titan to take further actions in Salesforce once the document has been generated and sent. In this example, we update the opportunity stage. So the document has been submitted. Let's refresh our page. Remember, this is now a prospect stage. Notice how the opportunity stage has been changed to proposal slash price quote and the document that we just generated is in the notes and attachments section. You can also configure this to send the document automatically. So let's start that over. Let's set our stage back to prospecting. You can set up a flow in Salesforce to invoke Titan to send a document when certain conditions are met. For example, if the lead stage, or not the lead stage, the lead source is set to other. I'll go ahead and change my lead. You can configure your flow for any variety of conditions. This is just an example. So now when I click Save, Salesforce will execute a flow that we've pre-configured. It will run behind the scenes. We should get the same results as before. The opportunity has been set to proposal price quote stage, and there is now a second document in the notes and attachments section because we generated the document automatically using that flow. We currently have this configured to be sent by email. It'll look something like this with a document sent attached. There are other delivery options as well. We will review those in the more advanced courses, but in this case, the end recipient has received an email from Titan with this attachment. All of this is configured using the Titan plugin to Word. We can bring in tables, merge fields, images, barcodes, data from Salesforce, etc. All of this will be covered in the additional courses from this course and the advanced course. 
This has been a basic overview of Titan document generation. Thanks for watching.